All right, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, as always, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachaha Kwedash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four quarters of the earth, pushing his truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, <clears throat> which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And welcome to this video. The name of this video is going to be called a heathen that has converted to a custom cannot become a Jew or a Israelite by blood. Okay. If you was born an Arabian, you're going to come back as an Arabian when you die. Okay. And a matter of fact, when everybody, when everybody's nationality was determined or made, it was determined and made in the heavens before being manifested here on earth. Every living person on this planet has a spirit inside their body and your spirit is unique to you. Okay. Up in the heavens, there's a left hand side and a right hand side. When Israelites die, they go to the right hand side of the heavenly father. Whereas the Edomites and the rest of the, um, the nations, when they die, <coughs> they go to the left hand side. Okay. So I dedicated myself to making this chart to show you that when you die, you're always going to come back. Okay. Now uh, you're always going to come back as the nationality that you were before in the past. So as you see in this chart, right, I have a list uh, of all the nations on here. Okay. And as you can see, when you understand line or lineage, your lineage is unique to your nation. Okay. So if you're an Israelite, then when you die, okay, you're going to go back to the spirit world. And even in the spirit world, you're still going to be an Israelite. Because your spirit is that of an Israelite. Now, in the book of Genesis, we were known as, as Israelites, we were known as the sons of God. Okay. So, um, before I uh, further explain this chart, I want to read this. Okay. Because <clears throat> reincarnation is real. Okay. When you die, your spirit leaves your body and goes back to the spirit world. OK, um, in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, it says, who know of the spirit of man that goeth upward. So when you die, your spirit goes up to the spirit world. OK, and there you are judged by Yahweh for whatever you did in your body when you was here on earth. OK. And 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 um. When the time comes for you to be reincarnated, re meaning back in, and then you have carnate, which means flesh. So reincarnate means that you're going to be back in the flesh, which means, <clears throat> you know, when, when, when it's time for you to be reincarnated, to be sent back here on earth, okay, sent back here on earth, the Lord takes your spirit. And he sends it down to the earth inside the body of a baby that's inside of a woman. 
Okay. Now and again, <clears throat> your nationality is dictated by your father because the man carries the seed, a line or a lineage is, is determined by the father. Okay. The man determines your nationality. So whoever your father is, that's what you are. So if your father is a Chinese person, then you're going to be Chinese. Okay. If your father is a so-called white person, then you're a so-called white person. Okay. So. Um, Exodus 20 verse four, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water in the earth or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, our precious uh, uh, God and Heavenly Father, and, and our precious, you know, uh, our precious God, Yahweh, and our precious Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, okay? For I, the Lord, uh, thy God am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto their third and fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. OK, so. You. OK. When you're reincarnated, okay, you usually come back in your third or fourth generation. So let's just to say if um if you have hmm, how do I put it? Okay, a son. OK. You know, you usually come back through your great great grandson. That will be your third generation. So your 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 great when your great great grandson. You know, has a son. That's going to be you. OK. So 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 when when your father puts you inside of your mother. I mean, at this time, you would be in the spirit world. OK. When your great, great or great grandson. You know, have sex with your mother. OK. That's when the Lord. Well, that's that's when the Lord determines that it's time for you to be reincarnated. OK. And when you're reincarnated. Whatever nationality you was in the past, you're going to come back as that same nation again. So the father, the heavenly father takes your spirit. He sends it back down to the earth inside the body of that baby where your mother gives birth to you. So your nationality is always going to be dictated by who your father is. OK. Your nationality never changes. OK. If you, if, if you was an East Indian here on earth, when you die, you're going to still be an East Indian because your spirit is that of an East Indian. Remember, when everybody's a nation, when, when everybody uh, nationality was made, it was made in the heavens first. So if you was a, um, a, a, a Hamite, if you was an African in the spirit world, you're going to be an African no matter how many times you die and be reincarnated back here on Earth. Once an African is always an African. Once a Arabian is always an Arabian. It don't matter how many times you die. OK, so let's just to say if um, a Arabian decided to go to China, right? Because everyone likes using um, Esther, the ninth chapter to do justify. See, look, the heathens became Jews. No, no. 
they 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 got Judaized, meaning they they learned of our customs and kept our ways. Okay. So let's just to say if a if a East Indian went to China, you know, and decided to take on the custom of being a Buddhist, does that mean he he's now Chinese? No, he's still an East Indian. You know? So guess what? He could be an East Indian, okay? And, 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 be, and, and become a Buddhist. Guess what? When he die, the next time he send it back down here on earth, he's still going to be an East Indian. <clears throat> now, and again, we always go into um, lineage, okay? And guess what word is inside of the word lineage? Line, okay? And your line would be, uh, uh, um, your line would be your family. So as you see right here on this chart, right, I have a line and that line would be your family. And each dot right there, each dot on those lines would represent you or your forefathers. So let's just to say, you know, if um, King Solomon, which will be an Israelite, right? Let's that that very first dot right there will be King Solomon, right? That second dot right there will be you. OK. That that means that your line or your lineage will be of the tribe of Judah. OK, and that third dot right there would be your son. OK, and the fourth dot right there would be your grandson. And then if we go back up to the to the uh, the top dot, right, that that the very first dot will be your great great grandson. And that second dot, because at this point, right, you you probably will be dead and back in the spirit world, right? So that second dot right there would be you coming back here on the earth of the same tribe of the same nation. OK. And this is how lineages are continued. They are continued through the man. So you see that once you're an Israelite, you're always an Israelite. So guess what? <clears throat> All these, okay, all those heathens who converted to our ways and, and took on our customs, when those heathens died, rather if it was an Arab, an East Indian, rather if it was a so-called white person, rather if it was a, a, a Hawaiian, a Jephite, or rather if it was a, a, a African, guess what? When they died, they came back as the nation they were, uh, they came back as the nation, uh, you know, they, they, they came back as the nation they were. Okay. Uh, 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 before they died. So guess what? A Hamite could have kept our, our customs. They could have kept our ways. OK, uh, African could have kept our customs or kept our ways. But guess what? When he died, he came back as an African. He did not come back as no fucking Jew. OK, so a heathen that has converted to our customs. <clears throat> it, it, it does not make them Israelites. OK, again, if an African goes to the, uh, 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 India, you know, he might go to India to 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 keep the customs of the East Indians. Does that mean that that African is now the East Indian? No, he's still an African by blood. And guess what? When that African die, he could have died, you know, keeping the customs of the East Indians. Guess what? His ass is still going to come back 
an African in his next life. Okay? Your nationality don't change after death. Okay? Your nationality do not change after death. Your nationality remains the same after you die. So if you're a so-called white person, an Edomite, you're going to be an Edomite even after you die. And you're going, to, you're going right to the left-hand side of the Heavenly Father. And when the time comes for you to be reincarnated, to be sent back here on the earth, you, you're still going to be an Edomite in your next life and in your next life. Because the line continues through the Father. So every, you know, everyone talking about, uh, you know, see, look, the, the heathens became Jews. No, they can't become a Jew by blood. If you was born a heathen, your ass is going to be a heathen. OK, <clears throat> an Arab cannot become a Jew. You have to be born a Jew, which the word Jew, J-U, is short for Judah. In order for you, in order for you to be a Jew, you have to be born a Jew. Your dad has to be a Jew of the tribe of Judah. Okay, a Chinese person cannot become a Jew. So-called white people, Edomites cannot become a Jew. Okay? Because being a Jew that 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 is a uh, that that is a nationality. That is a tribe amongst the nation. And you can't become a Jew by blood. <laughs> Look, the, the, the Jew, he took his blood out of his body and put it in mine. You're still, your, your, your spirit is still that of a heathen. Okay? When you die, you're going to be a heathen even after death in the spirit world. Okay? So, so, so if, if, a, uh, if a Japanese person die, he's still going to be Japanese in the spirit world. And when he come back in his next life, he going to be Japanese, no matter what customs they were keeping. Everybody's nationality was already made in the heavens before being manifested here on earth. Okay. So guess what? Peter, Peter was uh, of the tribe of Judah. You know why? Because when he was here on the earth as King David, he was a Judite of the tribe of Judah. <laughs> okay? Yehawashai of the tribe of Judah. Okay? Yehawashai in his past life was King Solomon. Was not King Solomon uh, of the tribe of Judah? Well, his dad, King David, it, uh, was of the tribe of Judah. So, uh, 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 you know, you know, a line or a lineage is continued through the man. Okay. So if your dad is a, a so-called North American Indian, you're going to be a North American Indian at, at birth. And when you die, you're going to come back as a North American Indian. And it's just that plain and simple. OK, so you could be a Hebrew Israelite. But, you know, will worship Allah. Does that does that mean that you're, you're you're an Arabian now because you worship Allah? Look, I'm an Arabian. Nope. You have to be born an Arabian by blood in order to be an Arabian. OK, because. As being an Israelite, when you die and come back in the reincarnation, your ass is still going to be an Israelite. So you can't just convert to being another nation. You have to be born of that nation by blood. And thus, your nationality is determined by your father. Okay? <clears throat> so, you know, I, I just wanted to do, you know, my response I wanted to do my response to this because, you know, I mean, it's ridiculous to think that somebody can just change their, their nationality, you know? Nah, man. Okay. 
Okay, and ultimately, your nationality is determined by your spirit. If your spirit is that of an Edomite, no matter how many times you die and come back in the reincarnation, your ass is always going to be an Edomite. Because the spirit inside you is that of an Edomite. If you are a Chinese person, when you die, no matter how many times you come back in the reincarnation, you're always going to be a Chinese person because your spirit, which animates your body, is that of a Chinese person, a Moabite. And it's just the same for every nation. OK, and the Heavenly Father is not a respecter of persons. You could be you could be real cool with an Israelite. You could be you could be a Japanese person, but be really cool with, 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 with the Israelites, guess what? <laughs> when you die, you're going to come back a Japanese person. If you're an Israelite, when you die, you're going to come back an Israelite of your respected tribe. And there's 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So, yeah, I, I just want to do a response video on that. I pray and hope that you sincere brothers and few sisters have been edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom. Yahawashai. With that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.